All right, guys, I said I was done in my last video unless something sparks my interest and something gets me feeling juicy. It sure as shit. I go scrolling through the YouTube feed, and there's my old buddy boy. My old buddy boy, arm wrestling snooze. Saying things, he's talking about the Devin Lyrett lift in the current form, reporting the news. Remember that. Then he gets on there. And it goes down the line, and all of a sudden, I see myself in a video. I'm going, holy shit. So I was kind of doing stuff in the kitchen, listening. And then I scroll back, and I see they're talking about the arson lift. And everyone's doing the arson lift, much like they do the Devin Larratt lift, and talking about his shape. And then he says, I'm going to show the video. Angin said that Arsen Liliev will face Brad Grundy, but recently he said that Arsen's match or his opponent is not confirmed yet. The match is confirmed, I think, but the opponent isn't. I would be really, really disappointed if the opponent is not RVJ. After the amount of shit that RVJ has talked about Arsen, it has to be him or my belief for a small period of time is going to be lifted off from arm wrestling. I want to see that match so bad. Try to fucking play the game. He gets tested and is full blown off the ass hot. So at what point in time do we take those WAF titles away? Basically, he'll be very disappointed if I'm not the person because I talked shit about Arson. Now let's get this clear. I have my opinions about what he did, but I didn't create the situation. I just reported on it. I told the story about him be having a doppelganger. True. I told the story about him getting banned from WAF. I didn't go put the fucking drugs in the guy's system and dime him out. I just was there to report on the fucking fact that this guy's a legendary status. Had a few good years. Go watch the video. I just reported on it. So coming from Pradeep's stance, that it's okay to talk about people. You don't have to be of that caliber or to be thrust in a match with them or have any pedigree to talk about them. He's always standing his post saying that it's okay to talk about people. That's just, it's as simple as that. Well, why when I did it, it wasn't shit talking? Why was it shit talking to illustrate the fucking truths? And then furthermore, he says, he'll lose his faith in arm wrestling, basically, if we don't have a match. Let me tell you something. I'm down for it. I'm down. Watch as I progress this year. All the things that you guys think I am, are it's all a fucking lie. It's going to be evident where I'm going. And I'm down. But you've made videos about being a hypocrite. And I know you like that word. So if me making a video, giving an opinion on someone, and then that means they're entitled to a match or you lose faith in arm wrestling, and I put this on your comments and I'm dying for a response, then we are long overdue for a match, Pradeep. Long overdue. I'll handicap it however you fucking want to. See, there's been a lot of notions thrown around about me being washed up, fucking forgotten about, uh, fucking drunk, hypocrite, flat tire, bicep, everything. I've had it all thrown at me. So the way I see it is, I'll sign up a match with Arson, no problem. But first, you and I are like, got some retroactive beef to settle here. Because if me talking about somebody means I'm on the fucking slate to, to pull to back up my words, then boy, oh boy, buddy boy, you better go on that magic carpet and get the fuck over here and scrub your little genie lamp and wish you were half as fucking good as you're going to need to be to get by in this one. You like to fuck with me a lot. And I'm going to tell you what, now it's time to back up some of those big words, big boy. Or is it only good when it's the arm wrestling snooze? Your show's still boring. Fuck off.